successful people start to be successful when they understand this one thing. And this is a model of communication that's really going to lead to you getting predictable results because you're going to be able to create consistent behaviors out of this. My name is Alex Morgan, and I help you boost your business, and I help you boost your business fast, and I also help you get rid of limiting beliefs because you were born limitless, and it's time to be limitless again. So what is this model of communication, and why would you really want to learn this? So do you, in your business or in your personal life, when you're trying to achieve something, are you doing something and you're not getting consistent results? What if there was a way that you could actually get consistent results? Would that be useful for you? Or do you find yourself communicating with people on your team and your message just isn't quite getting across the way that you like it would? So if you had a way to do that, would that be useful for you? So then everyone could get predictable results. So the whole purpose of this model of communication is so we can understand how we filter an event and then allow that event that happens on the outside to filter through us so then we can create a behavior that's actually going to give us good things at the end. So anytime an event happens outside of us, let's say something good happens, someone makes us feel really good or something not bad happens, but maybe someone irritates us. So either way, when that happens, we filter it through our five senses. So visual, auditory, our feelings, our taste, our smell. And then since that's so many things, it's so much bits of information, we need to condense that a bit. So we delete certain things, we distort certain things, and we generalize it. Because we can't take in all the information going on around us at the same time that would overload our mind. So once we kind of deleted and tone that down a bit, what we're going to do is we're going to start filtering this. Now my filters are going to be different from your filters. So that's why if someone is irritating, maybe I like this person, they're not irritating to me. However, they're very irritating to you. So we're going to filter things based off of our preferences, our memories, our attitudes, our beliefs, our values, so things that motivate us. So that's why when an event happens, no two people are actually going to have the exact same recollection of the event because we're all having a different experience. We all have a different inner map. And this out and this inner map leads to an outer territory. We're, we're going to have a different behavior and we're going to experience our outer reality different than any other person because we all have this past programming so with this model of communication you can also learn how to change that so you can get new behaviors new results build new relationships make more money than you ever thought possible so once we filter this information what are we left with we're left with a picture in our mind and there's only five six things that are in this it's a picture it has sounds it has feelings, tastes, smells, and it consists of our self-talk. So let's say someone irritates us. Well, guess what? You actually have the capability to not make excuses and say, oh, they irritate me. You now have the capability, knowing this, to change that picture in your mind, to filter it differently, to change those unconscious programs so you're not irritated. So you don't feel like that. You can make small tweaks in this picture in your mind so you can lead to better behaviors. The second thing that we do is that picture is also combined with a state. So how we feel internally. So this could be a angry state, a sad state, a happy state, a joyful state, a loving state, confident, excited, focused, full of energy, whatever it is. So you have this state inside of you. So of course, if someone is irritating, you're gonna feel a certain way on the inside. And if I don't think they're irritated or irritating, I'm gonna feel a certain way on the inside. However, we also have control over this as well. So you can then change how you feel. You can choose not to take what that person did personally. Because a lot of times when we take things personally, it's actually a problem we have on the inside that we haven't resolved yet that's a topic for another video however we can control how we feel so if we can control how we feel and then earlier we can control the picture we have in our mind 
Think if you made compelling changes to both and you had complete control over both. That would lead to a much better outer reality, much better behaviors, much better habits, much better everything, don't you think? So those two things combined with a third thing, your physiology, so how you carry yourself, your posture, your breathing, the way you sound, the way you move, all three of these things combined together, these lead to your behavior. So if you're able to control those three things, you can then control your behavior. You can get predictable results. So when something irritating happens, you have a choice. You have control over what you see and how you feel and how you carry yourself in that situation. So what if you were addressing your team? Imagine that. You could go into that meeting with a good picture in your mind, with a nice confident state, and carrying yourself in a confident way. Don't you think you'd be much more influential? What if you were talking to a potential investor and you were carrying yourself in a nice confident way and you had a nice picture in your mind and you were also carrying yourself? Don't you think they would be more impressed with you? I think they would. So you can use these three things, the picture in your mind to make a compelling outcome, Control your state to make a compelling outcome and carry yourself in an excellent way. People who are successful, they have a psychology and a physiology of excellence. And that's what those three things here combine to do. And those will lead to predictable results in your personal life, in your business, in your personal growth, in your fitness, in your health, in your spirituality. When you learn whatever it is, in sales calls, imagine if you had a really nice picture. You could sell to almost anyone if they saw you as confident and you knew what you were talking about and you had proper authority while asking them questions to find out what they really need. So use this communication model. And if you want to learn more about this model, it's something I cover in depth in my training that I offer. So my information will be at the end of the video and in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video or share it with someone who you think will benefit. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.